Hi, dear Akaiwa viewers. I've just received a bunch of questions from Akaiwa, and I'm going to do my best to try to answer them all. So, without further ado, let's get started. Do you have any siblings? No, I do not have any siblings. Only child here. Uh, what were you like as a kid? Hmm. What was I like as a kid? I don't know. I guess I was... Um, a loner but I was also very outdoorsy I really loved just playing outside um, I really had a penchant for books um, and a lot of movies as well like that was my escapism so yeah I just kind of lived in my imaginary world most of the time <laughs> what kind of sports or other activities did you do as a kid I used to be a competitive swimmer <laughs> almost until um, puberty hit and uh, messed up my hydrodynamics. Um, what else? I don't know. I just I was never really into any sports per se. We used to do uh, skiing or like ice skating as part of PE classes at school, but um, I've never really gotten into that. So. Yeah, and when it comes to just watching sports, it's just always been soccer for me. But uh, I can't play soccer. Like, if life depended on me, I just, I can't. What did you like to do for fun as a kid? As I've already said, I was pretty outdoorsy. And um, if I was not playing outside, I would be reading books. Books, 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 books. I was pretty much a nerd, I guess. I was really craving all the information that I can absorb. And uh, movies. I think I fell in love with movies, with Hollywood when I was a little kid. I can't even remember what was the first movie I've watched. But, uh... oh, Star Wars. I watched Star Wars on big screen. The second one. <laughs> Did you have any part-time jobs when you were a student? If so, what? Yes, I did have a few part-time jobs. Uh, one of them was remote. I was developing different design elements for various websites because uh, I was kind of self-taught Photoshop expert. I'm kidding, I'm, I'm not that good with Photoshop, but uh, good enough to book a few jobs, I guess. And then I was also a private tutor uh, of English and Japanese, believe it or not. <laughs> what sports do you like? Um, I like soccer, just watching, not playing, can't play soccer. What are three songs you like? Mm, this is a tough one, seriously. Uh, pick only three. Well, I have to go with David Bowie no matter what because you know, he's my favorite artist of all time. So I would say Ashes to Ashes. I would say Roxy Music in Every Dream Has a Heartache. And uh, I'm tempted to go with something a little bit more <laughs> current. So I'll say Moniskin, Honey. I've been listening to that song um, on repeat a lot. Yeah. What countries have you traveled to? Oosh. Uh, let me see if I can remember everything. It all started with Ukraine. Like my parents and I, we used to go to Ukraine uh, pretty much every year for like six years, seven years straight. Um, I went to Cyprus, I went to Spain, France, Belgium, Italy many times. Uh, United Arab Emirates, Japan, um, United Kingdom, Mexico, uh, Georgia, mm, something else. I feel like I'm forgetting something else, but um, maybe not. Maybe this will cover it all. Can you tell me which country was the best? Why is that? It's really hard to just select only one country. They're all, um, I've, I've had great experience everywhere and uh, Japan was one of the countries that left a huge mark in my heart. Obviously, I had amazing time there. I traveled 
um, hitchhiking actually from Tokyo to Nagoya and from Nagoya to uh, Kyoto and Osaka and it was a crazy experience but very rewarding and just fascinating it helped me see different parts of Japan meet so many amazing people along the way uh, I've lived in Japan for about three months I think so it was great Paris is just mind-blowingly gorgeous and fantastic I would love to go back there like seriously at any opportunity and uh, Georgia, I would actually want to say a few words about Georgia because it's one of those countries that is very underrated, but it's absolutely fascinating, unique, and it's probably one of the best places on earth to go for um, food tourism. Yes, because food in Georgia is it's just mind-blowing. It's so good that like you won't be able to look at tomatoes again after you go to Georgia and try Georgian tomatoes kid you not uh, can you tell me about experiences with culture shock <laughs> can you tell me what country it happened mm -hmm. well United States maybe I've never seen that amount of homeless people as I've seen in California yeah it's pretty damn shocking what first got you interested in Japan? Hmm. Um, I've always been interested in Japanese culture, Japanese language, Japanese traditions ever since I was a little kid. I uh, studied karate. I watched um, a lot of movies, a lot of anime, listened to Japanese music, and I really wanted to understand the culture better. So I started teaching myself Japanese. And um, I just feel like from even philosophical standpoint, uh, Japanese mindset or rather like traditional aspects of Japanese philosophy, Japanese approach to life and yada, yada, yada. So I think um, that was also a big part of me that uh, got me into Japan and everything Japanese. In Japan, what did you do? I ate. <laughs> I ate a lot of good food. I ate a lot of Japanese food and Italian food. I was really amazed to find that uh, Japanese Italian food is just as good as Italian Italian food. Um, what else? I traveled. I, as I said before, I hitchhiked. I hitchhiked uh, from Tokyo to Nagoya, from Nagoya to Kyoto, and from Kyoto to Osaka. Uh, don't do this, kids. It's probably not safe, but I was um, I was a silly, silly little kid, and uh, it was fun, and I did not regret it. And I also, um, duh, I went to a Japanese language school. I was a ryugakuse for about a month, and then the next two months, I was just um, I was just hanging out, having fun, going, checking out like different shrines and stuff, spending money. <laughs> my parents money. if you visited Japan again what would you like to do mm. I don't even think I need a specific plan because Japan is so fun and fascinating that um, I would definitely find a lot of cool things to do I would love to finally make it to Nara because I haven't made it there uh, last time I was in Japan. I would love to spend more time in Kyoto. I would love to uh, go back to Osaka and uh, eat a lot more delicious food. And I would love to make it to Okinawa because it just looks so, so, so beautiful. And eat a lot of good food. Maybe I will try a uh, fugu. Or maybe not, actually. No, no I would not try a fugu. <sighs> 実践的な英会話を短期間で効率よく身につけたい方はいろんなアメリカ人の生の英会話を学ぶのが一番です英会話教材This is英会話ではアメリカ人約150人の生の英会話を紹介していますそれでは次回をお楽しみに<音楽>